Hello, it's Terry Ray with the Gator Gun, and today I have a Gator Gun detection request to zap the band Paramore, but I gotta read you who it's from. It's from uh, Ryan Mauger from Sing It Conley 15, from Amanda, from Taylor, and from Tom DeLong Attic because it is his seventh favorite band. So, hello, gotta get to that. Now, people, <laughs> I am old and not hip, so I am just now learning about Paramore. So, if I make a big mistake or a big boo boo, just forgive me. And I know some of you people are, are watching this video because you only know about Paramore and you go, Who's the baldy freak? And what's he gonna do with my band? Calm down. There's nothing but love coming out of the gaydar gun because it's just going to detect their percentage of gayness, you know, the way it does, from 0 to 100% on the homometer scale, which is right there. That needle will move from 0 to 100 or stay at 0, whatever. Um, so <laughs> the point thing to remember, though, no matter what the gaydar gun homometer says, is that everybody's sexuality is totally, absolutely fine. And I think the band from Paramore would probably agree with that. No matter what anybody is, it's totally fine. But with the Gator Gun, it's always fun to give a little zap just to see what it says. All right, so we're going to start off with um, with Josh, who seems to have a special friend. I, You know, it's great. They seem to be very close. And can't tell if it's a little boy or a little girl, but whatever. They're they're in love, and that's what counts. Okay, here we go. You should have rainbow flag sheets. Oh, okay. Well, it's 100% uh, for Josh at the moment. <laughs> he even has rainbow flag sheets. So I, apparently it is a little... It's a little boy, and they're very happy, and they're very proud, and their bed is very colorful, which is sweet. <laughs> soft and sweet. His friend looks soft. Okay, so I think this is uh, Josh's brother, Zach. I don't know if you know this about Zach. I just found this out. If you throw a towel on Zach's head, he will pretend to be the Sphinx, and he will just stare straight ahead very calmly. That's his thing. It makes him, you know, calm down. He's He, he likes to do the Sphinx, and whatever. It's okay. Sphinx is good. Here we go. Milo and David. Art, you'd love to throw. Okay, well, that's 50%. And, you know, it sort of makes sense. He's really into statues, apparently. Um, and not only the Sphinx, uh, the Venus de Milo, you know, the gorgeous statue without any arms, and the David, <laughs> the gorgeous statue with that extra appendage, uh, all arts that he would love to screw. So, uh... <laughs> He's very cultural, and he loves him some statues. He certainly does. 50%. Any statue, he's going to love a lot. All right, so here we go with, uh, this is Jeremy Davis. Now, Jeremy, I don't know what he's doing here. Either he just got a couple fingers cut off, and it really, really hurts. <laughs> or he's doing one of those little sexual things which make me blush. And uh, either way, <laughs> we'll find out. Let's see. It started with gay friendly. Um, okay, well, it's it's a 50 percent, though. It's it, it's so he can either maybe only one finger's cut off and he's only doing half a gesture. Uh, it started with gay friendly and then it just spiraled. And that's OK. You know, he's just he wasn't really a 50 percent at first, but he got, you know, met some gay folks and like, yeah, that's cool. And he just spiraled up to 50 percent, which is perfectly, fantastically, wonderfully friendly of him. So I, you got to love that. And now here here here's. Um, Here's Taylor York. Yeah, Taylor likes himself a big drink at the mall, and he's got really, you know, look at the lips. Get very good suction going on there. He, that's an admirable quality. Let's see what it says about Taylor. You know which shade cream irritates your genitals? Okay, well, that, that's 100%. It says that Taylor knows which shaving cream irritates his genitals. And, you know, possibly he went to the mall to get something to fix that and stop for a little drink on the way. So 100% because he just, he knows about his creams and the irritation down below and, you know, maybe some activity that caused that irritation and it's all okay, people. It's all okay. It's not contagious if he uses the right cream. All right. And now we have um, Haley right here who didn't get to eat at the mall and is really starved. Poor girl. And the biter shirt. Okay. I'm going to put it in girls and switch it over and now it's shoot Haley. You wouldn't even Oh, oh no. Okay, that she's she's a zero, people. She's she's a total zero. She wouldn't even breastfeed her daughter. I mean, that's 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 pretty straight. I and mean, she doesn't want <laughs> doesn't want the girlies down there with the girls. No, just keep them all apart. Nothing touching the girls except the boys. And and, and that's the way she likes it. And if you don't abide by that, she might just bite you. She she is a bit of a biter. Okay, so there you go. That's the band Paramore. I know it's a little wacky, but that's what it is. So if you want me to zap somebody 
or if you want to get your very own Gator gun in, you know people, it's always the appropriate gift to give, no matter what time of the year. Uh, just go to the website GatorGun.com and also uh, check out Gator Gun on Facebook for even mo information, okay? Remember, peeps, the Gator Gun is just a toy, so thanks to our celeb targets for letting us play. We are what we are, and it's all okay.